size, a math counts book from Scholastic. Do you ever wonder what words mean? This is a toy bear. It is so big that it would be hard to carry. This baby elephant is bigger than the toy bear, but is smaller than its mother. The mother elephant is the biggest of them all. This is a toy car. How do you know that it is too small to carry people? This car looks almost as small as the toy car. How can you tell that it is bigger? This is a van. Do you think it is bigger or smaller than the car? This is a double-decker bus. It carries more than 50 people. It is bigger than the car and the van. It is the biggest vehicle. To know the size of things, we need to have something to measure them against. These wheels could be any size. How do you know that this wheel is enormous? It is hard to guess how large this model might be. Is it big or is it small? We know that this dinosaur is very big. These fruits are different sizes. Which is the biggest? Which is the smallest? These toy bears are not the same size. Which is bigger? Which is smaller? Sometimes we need to arrange things in size order. These jars are different sizes. Now they are arranged by size. The biggest jar is on the left. The smallest jar is on the right. We use the words big and small to describe the size of things. A rabbit is bigger than a hamster, but smaller than a pony. A pony is a big animal, but it is smaller than a horse. The words big and small help us compare one thing with another. A coat can be too big or too small. Is the girl too big for the coat or is the coat too small for the girl? When we buy shoes, we have to make sure that they are the right size. For the person who is going to wear them. Sometimes we need to make things appear larger so that we can see them more easily. A hornet is a very small creature. Enlarged, it looks like this. These are raindrops on a leaf. They have also been enlarged. Sometimes things seem to be smaller than they really are. This airplane looks quite small when it is high in the sky. On the ground, it looks much bigger. How do you know that this house is big enough for you to live in? And that this house has been built for dolls? What is the biggest thing you can think of? What is the smallest? 